welcome once again to my YouTube channel, Lega Design Studio. Don't forget to subscribe and please feel free to ask anything that you would like to know in my field and I'm going to make sure to make future videos on it. My name is Lady, and as promised, today I'll be talking about foundation systems. For those that are not in my field and would like to know a little bit more about how construction works, uh, it'll be a simple and quick video gathering uh, the basic foundation types and how their dynamic works. The foundation, as the word might imply, is the lower part of the building. It is constructed partially or wholly underground, and even though you don't see it, it is crucial for keeping the building up. It supports and anchors the building uh, above and conducts its way into the earth. It wouldn't come to a surprise to you then that the foundation is always designed according to two main factors. Uh, number one is the form and the layout of the building above, and secondly, all the variables um, that could happen um, under the surface of the ground, such as the soil conditions, it could be in a stable, stable soil with a lot of water, uh, such as the, the, the type of, of um, soil, it could have a lot of gravel, sand, or it could be a clay material, or it could be rock, and also how high the, the water table is. So those things that happen under the surface of the ground are really important when determining which is the best type of foundations to use. Um, well, this is why then there are a, a lot of type of foundations uh, depending on all of these factors. And basically they can be classified in two main broad categories. Uh, the first one is uh, shallow foundations and the second one is deep foundations. Now let's talk about under which circumstances either shallow foundations or deep foundations are used. Usually, the shallow foundations are used where uh, a stable soil or soil with the right compactness uh, is present near the ground surfaces. On the other hand, the deep, the deep foundations are used where the soil underneath the surface of the ground is unstable and doesn't have the necessary capacity or compactness to hold the weight of the building above. In these cases, uh, the foundation needs to go deeper, uh, passing that layer of unsuitable soil onto reaching a layer of good support soil. This could be made of either rock, uh, sand and gravel, and this type of soil is the one that is able to support the necessary uh, weight of the building. Now that we understand the two broad classifications of the foundation system, shallow and deep foundations, let's see some, of some examples. For instance, the most basic shallow foundation there is, is called the spread footing. And this one is typical for houses or small buildings and where a stable soil is found right under uh, the surface of the ground. Um, they can be of two forms. Uh, one is called a street footing. This one is the one that goes right underneath the walls of the building and that's because uh, the walls are the ones used to transfer the weight down to the footing and then down to the earth. And second, second one is the isolated footing. This one is right underneath the columns because the columns in these cases is the one that is used to transfer the weight of the building down to the isolated footing and down to the earth. That's what I mentioned before that um, the foundation layout is uh, in tune with the layout of the building above because we use uh, walls or columns to transfer the weight of the building down to this footing and at the same time it goes, uh, it transfers the weight to the earth through the footings. So it's like system. Now what happens if the soil is not as stable as to use the strip footing under the walls or the isolated footings under the columns that I just mentioned? In this case, we have other choices. There is one called a mat or raft foundation. This one consists on a heavily reinforced concrete slab, really thick. Um, the reason why this uh, choice becomes feasible and better for uh, the construction site and less expensive is because after the structural engineer made calculations and realized the footings, uh, the regular shallow footings that I just mentioned, become so large that it's cheaper for uh, the construction of the building to make just the complete slab, to pour the concrete a a slab and make that the foundation system. Uh, we also have a flooring foundation. This one is similar to the 
matte foundation. It's the same system. The difference between the matte foundation and the flooring foundation is how deep this concrete slab goes. Uh, the idea of the flooring foundation consists uh, of excavating the ground to a point where the weight of the excavated soil equals or is greater to the weight of the building that is being supported above. And that's actually how the depth of this matte foundation, which is basically the concrete slab, is determined. So far, we have seen uh, two shallow foundations examples, which is the street foundation, the street footings under the walls, the isolated footings under the columns, and then two others that are the mat or rough foundations, basically a concrete slab heavily reinforced and is also pretty near to the surface of the ground. The case of the flooring foundation will depend uh, how deep it goes uh, into the soil. Now that we have learned a few examples of the shallow foundation system, let's move on to the deep foundations. For the deep foundations, we have two main types. Uh, one is called pile foundation and the second one is called kaizen foundation. Uh, the pile foundations could be made out of wood if treated, uh, but for larger buildings, it's usually steel or concrete filled pipes uh, or precast concrete are more suitable. Uh, now, in the case of the Kaizen Foundation, uh, the process takes place on site. And the way it works is a, a shaft is excavated on site. And once this excavation reaches suitable soil, which I mentioned before, could be a uh, rock stratum or a good combination of sand and gravel, then this shaft is filled with concrete. Uh, as you may have noticed, the, mm, there is a big difference between pipe foundations and kaizen foundations. Kaizen foundation takes place on site, whereas the pile foundation is brought to the site, as I mentioned before, in the shape of steel sections, concrete filled pipes, or precast concrete which as I mentioned are more suitable for larger buildings. Okay guys, enough of the foundation systems. I try to make this video quick, simple and easy to understand. These are basic type of foundations. Of course, there are a lot of ways to integrate these foundations depending on the building, on the soil underneath. And what I want you to take away from this uh, video is uh, the main basic foundation systems as i mentioned before are uh, classified in two categories there is a shallow foundations and there is a deep foundations uh, some of the shallow foundations are the strip uh, footing which goes underneath the walls and the isolated footing which goes underneath the columns and when the soil is not as stable then we can use a matte foundation which is the thick heavily reinforced concrete slab or the flooring foundation, which is also a deep uh, concrete slab. The difference is how deep it goes when the ground is excavated. And for the deep foundations, as I mentioned, we have uh, the main, the pile foundation, and the kaizen foundation. The piles are usually um, filled concrete pipes, steel sections, or precast concrete. And in the case of the Kaizen uh, foundations is usually uh, the process is on site and is a shaft that is excavator until reaching good stable soil, which could be rock, could be a good combination of sand and gravel. And once the, this a good stratum is reached, then concrete is poured to make this deep foundation. I hope you understood a little bit more about foundations. Uh, as I mentioned before, all of these foundation types could be integrated within a building depending on the shape of the building, depending on the setting of the building, if it's a more secluded area or if it's a dense location where there are other buildings around. Uh, all of that matters, but I just wanted you to understand the basics of the foundation system. I hope you guys like this video. If you're interested to know anything in my field, construction, or design or architecture feel free to reach out you can put a comment on the video and i'll make sure to read them and follow up uh, subscribe of course and share with your friends friends that could be interested in these topics so i can wait to make more content for you bye guys thank you
Thank <laughs> you.